the Alentejo has a character unlike any other province of Portugal, stretching from the west coast to the border of Spain. It can be lush, dramatic and extraordinarily beautiful. The Alentejo has been through an important period of transformation with the Alqueva Dam. The area continues to benefit from infrastructure investments with plans underway for a second airport just outside Lisbon and a high-speed rail link that will stop at Évora just 20 minutes from Barcal. This is um, one of the biggest dams of the world. It's the third biggest on the world, the biggest in Europe. Basically, to have a notion of the dimensions of this lake, from Juremania until Alkiva, we have more or less 100 kilometers cruisable with the boat on the middle of the river. If we make a drawing all around the lake, all the little rivers, all the little entrances, we can measure up to 100, uh, 1,150 kilometers of waterline, which is more than the Portuguese coast. Well, we started with a small boat and we, we used to do trips and we needed to take more people and we love sailing. So um, we were looking, we saw the Portuguese um, from the river sailing boats, we saw the Nile boats, we saw some Indian boats we were looking. And then we found this boat in Holland. It was a, a traditional cargo boat from the channels. Water is life, because now the fishermen can fish again. Now there's the boats, we can go cruise on the boat, we can go swimming, we can go, I don't know, water skiing, sailing, uh, windsurf. This is all kind of activities that now are possible. Conciliei um sonho, que era vir para o Alentejo e trabalhar com cavalos. mais é poder ter qualidade de vida, trabalhar no campo. José Gaspar Velho, uma olaria sou conhecido por Mestre Velhinho. A olaria há 62 anos, comecei com 11 anos e tenho 73 atualmente. Faço 74 em setembro. Meu nome é David Beverstock e sou um australiano de winemaker. Um, I... I grew up in Australia, studied winemaking in Australia, worked as a winemaker in Australia, and then I came to, to Europe uh, to get some vintage experience back in the early 80s. And um, after working vintage in France and Germany, I came to Portugal for a holiday and met up with my future wife-to-be, who, who is Portuguese, and um, finished up staying on. And I've been here now for nearly 30 years. We produce... Uh, somewhere in the order of 15 million bottles of wine a year. The positive aspects about the Alentejo for growing, for growing grapes and making wine uh, have to do with the very consistent climate that we have here. So that means you can make very good wines every year. In the cooler years, we make exceptional wines, and every year we make very good wines, and that's, that's, the, that's the, the strength of the Alentejo. Portugal has a lot of indigenous grape varieties, you know, grape varieties that don't exist anywhere else. So there's a, there's a, a flavour profile in Portuguese wines that um, it's a very positive thing because they're very unique. I mean, there's nothing better than when you're travelling around the world. You know, you could be in a restaurant in New York, New York or, or Sao Paulo or London or something and, and you, you go to a restaurant and you find your wines on the list. I mean, it's, uh, you get a bit, of a bit of a buzz out of that. 
El paisaje me encanta, me encanta, me encanta me, me, cada día que, que tengo que moverme entre las bodegas por esos caminos pequeños, ahora sobre todo en primavera, me parece fantástico, yo disfruto con este paisaje, me, me, parece, me da ganas de parar y sacar fotografías con el móvil porque me parece precioso, me gusta mucho la gastronomía, me parece que, que es una de las gastronomías más ricas de, de Portugal porque también tiene mucha diversidad y mucha, muchas cosas del, del campo, trabaja con muchas hierbas aromáticas. Bueno, lo que más me gusta, lo que más me sorprendió hasta ahora es que hay mucha diversidad y un gran potencial para hacer cualquier tipo de, de vinos. Es casi como un regalo para, para un enólogo, porque puedes hacer desde vinos con buena relación calidad-precio, puedes hacer vinos de los denominados alta expresión, puedes hacer un poco, un poco de todo. Y al mismo tiempo son vinos muy, muy personales, con mucha identidad y por eso también tienen tanto suceso, eh, tanto a nivel nacional como, como internacional. Why people come here is for the peace. It's the peace that um, you you feel when you get here. Yeah? Easy going, no rush, no. And then you add up um, some food, some water, some some wine, some you know some olive oil, some olives, and you add it all, and it's you feel good. I think more people will be drawn to its peace and beauty. The pace of life here won't change, but more people will be able to enjoy it.